Hi, my name is Mark Dulick. And I'm Steve Wetzel. We're application engineers for Southwire Company. We're here to demonstrate the installation of the Southwire VFD termination kit. Proper termination of these cables is important because it controls common mode currents, which if left uncontrolled, can cause various system problems, including motor damage. Southwire's VFD cable shield termination kit consists of the following components. One constant force spring, one flexible tinned copper braid with a lug attached on one end, two lengths of copper foil adhesive tape, and an instruction guide. The tools we recommend for installing the termination kit are Southwire's long nose pliers, diagonal cutters, electrician scissors, and safety retractable utility knife. Now we'll walk you through the steps of the termination kit. The first step is to remove the outer jacket. It's a good recommended practice to use a constant force spring provided in the kit just for a straight edge to get a nice cut. You can align the spring just with a pair of pliers. The jacket is removed with a utility knife. So you'll make one ring cut and then you'll make a longitudinal cut along the entire jacket length. Careful not to go too deep to cut the tape shield that's underneath. The next step is to remove the tape shield, the copper tape shield, and we'll use the constant force spring on that also for a straight edge. Depending on how much room you have in the enclosure, um, you'll want to make this termination kit, you know, either closer to the, the connector or, or further. It just depends on how much real estate is in the termination can. This distance isn't critical. It's, it's just what you need for the, for the braid, which is only a three quarters wide. So up to two inches is fine. Just carefully unwind the tape shield. Scissors is a good tool to use to cut the tape shield. Then I'll make five cuts in the tape shield, four to five cuts. Now what you do is you'll peel the tape shield against the constant force spring, it will tear off. Now the tape shield is totally removed. You can remove the constant force spring. At this point, all the fillers can be cut. Diagonal cutters are a good tool to use. Now at this point, the copper tape shield wants to unwind. So in the Southwire kit, we provided a strip of copper adhesive tape. This is used to hold down the shield. It's important to use copper adhesive tape here because you want to maintain an electrical connection between the shield and the termination strap that will go over it. The next step is to apply the braid. Southwire kit has an integral crimp on lug with a hole in it already for easy attachment of the chassis. The first step is to make a 45 degree bend and fold it over on itself. This tail has to be long enough to be able to wrap around the circumference of the cable. You can flatten it with a pair of needle nose pliers. When making the bend, make sure that the uh, termination braid is as short as you possibly need to attach it to the enclosure. Just a piece of tape here to hold the braid on while you're making the connection, just an extra set of hands. You'll wrap the braid all the way around the cable 
then you'll make a 45 degree cut on the braid. Reason for that is you, you don't want to overlap the braid because it will get bulky. So it, just, it just covers the circumference of the cable. <clears throat> this is what's called a 360 degree termination, which is recommended by most drive manufacturers. You want to make sure that braid it wraps the entire way around the uh, copper tape. The next step is to take the constant force spring Wrap it around. This type of termination provides a low impedance at high frequency connection between the shield and the drive enclosure. The final step is to wrap two half lap layers of vinyl tape around the termination. The termination is complete, and now we'll connect the braid to the chassis. The lug on the braid strap provides for a very reliable large surface area connection, which gives you a low impedance at high frequency. The lug is important because it minimizes any chance of damage from vibrations. Now that completes the termination kit on Southwire's VFD cable with tape shield. For more information, contact industrial support at southwire.com.